Hey, we're back with part two in our blending mode series. Today we're going to be talking about linear burn, darker color, and lighten modes. Let's get into it. Okay, for our first blending mode, we're going to be looking at linear burn. What linear burn does is it darkens the base image based on the brightness of the blend image. The result is a darker image than the multiply blend mode with less contrast than the color burn blend mode. Okay, so for my first example here, I've got uh, some footage from this wedding client and I happen to know that this bride really loves an uh, old time photography, a tin type, daguerreotype look. And for this ender shot for the video, I'd like to lay down that kind of a grungy patina look on it. And I know that I can use that linear burn blending mode to do that. Let's go see how it looks. All right, so let's take a look at how I built this clip out. First, I'm gonna take that bride clip and put it on the main video track of the timeline. And I knew I wanted some texture, some grit, so I went to Storyblocks and I grabbed this mega grunge rust sort of animated texture overlay. I'll drop that on top there and light that track up so we can see it. I can see that this track is totally opaque, but I've got blending modes. So we'll go into those blending modes. I'm gonna change this from normal to my linear burn mode. And so you can see here what the linear burn mode is doing is it's darkening the base image. That's the bride based on the brightness of the blend image, that animated overlay. So it's going to make a darker image than the multiply blend mode, and it's gonna have a lot less contrast than the color burn mode. And so for me, I think linear burn is really the best tool for this job. It's giving me this real nice mellow contrast on the overlay, plenty of vignette. I can dial that back a little if I want, but I think that this is a look my client's looking for, and I feel like she's really gonna like it. For a second example today, we're going to look at darker color. The darker color blend mode chooses the darkest pixels of either the base image or the blend image. And the result is a more extreme version of the darkened blend mode. It gives a more binary or on-off effect. Okay, so since we're looking at darker color blend mode, I'm thinking we'll build something with a night sky. And I've got this nice Milky Way piece here. I'm gonna make kind of a composite uh, time-lapse nightscape, maybe fade in and a little bit, a little bit of nice moon. Um, and I'm thinking that I'd like to have something a little more present, something to frame it. And I'm going to grab some trees to wrap around and give me a little silhouette. Let's take a look at our final composite. So I went to Storyblocks and found a nice uh, dusky clip, video clip of some trees silhouetted against the night sky. I took a snapshot of that just to give a bit more control later. Um, but what I'd like to do is just get this on my timeline, stretch that out. And I can see that that covers up the Milky Way portion of my sky. So I'm gonna open this up in our effects editor and we'll put a blend mode on there darker color. So I can see the darker colors got my Milky Way sky back and here I can see a little bit of a little bit of a blend the residue of that of the different color of the Milky Way dusk sky and a lot of people might use the darken mode for this same job. I can see a more subtle effect through here. Um, the darker color mode is really just a little bit more extreme a version of the darken mode. Now this nightscape isn't totally complete. There's still a couple things to do and I actually made another ver a full complete version of this um, and we'll take a look at how this goes. I'm going to open up that tree, uh, that tree clip. I'll show you that we've keyframed the position in it a little so I can see those trees growing just a little bit to give a little bit more life in there and I know also that I wanted to cool it a little bit change the color and we did a few few tweaks just to bring the color 
kind of more into line with that nighttime feeling to make it play nicely with the other colors. And of course, you can play around with, with all of these projects. You can be able to download it from a link in the description below. Our final example today is the Lighten mode. The Lighten Blend mode chooses the lighter pixels from either the base image or the blend image. And the result is anything lighter than the base image is kept and anything darker is replaced with the pixels of the base image. For our Lighten Mode example, my task is to build an intro sequence for something that might be a nature documentary, a little National Geographic style. I've got uh, all my elements here on the timeline, except for one, a uh, beautiful mountain sunrise time lapse and a bug and a little seedling getting rained on. And I feel like I'd like to have something fill this area of these mountains. So let's take a look at that finished product. And for the final clip that I wanted to put in here, I landed on uh, a nice cloudy sky time lapse. I'm going to go ahead and drop that down in there. And we'll open it up in the effects editor. And in here, I'm going to apply that light and blend mode. So just about everything in this sequence has the light and blending mode applied. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn them off and on so you can see the interaction here. Everything changes something when you're using blending modes. So we laid down this kind of purplish brown uh, background as our base image on the main video track. And remember the lighten mode is going to choose the lighter pixels from either the base image or the blend image. And when it does that, what you see is the darker areas, the pix dark pixels in the blue sky are blending with that brown purple. And the lighter pixels are just staying where they were. Now, this composite isn't quite complete, so what I'd like to do is go ahead and uh, come over here and take a look at how it plays out in the final product. I'm going to open that cloud clip in the editor, and we sized it up a little bit um, just to make sure that there's space enough along those vertical edges for when we do edge softening. And I moved it down, get the sweet part of the clouds into the frame. And then in cropping, we cropped the top a little bit and applied a good chunk of edge softness. And then, of course, the light and blend mode. And that's it for this composite. Remember to download these projects from the links in the description. And as with anything, whenever you're using blend modes, it's all about experimentation and imagination. And that's it for part two on our blending mode series. Uh, as always, we're going to be dropping some detailed links into the description below. And if you have any more questions about blending modes or anything else LumaFusion can do, please get a hold of us via email support at luma-touch.com. Thanks.